I visited a Bath and Body Works with some friends, and they talked some sense into me. Like, sense? <laughs> Smells? Because it's a Bath and Body Works? So, Alright, well. So a few friends and I went out to celebrate a birthday, and we were heading to a fine eating establishment known as BJ's, where we were hoping to partake in some pizookis. For the uninitiated, a pizookie is a warm, preferably gooey cookie in a little tin topped with scoops of ice cream and often whipped cream as well. Quite delightful. Among my list of desserts from major restaurant chains, fairly high up on the list will you find the pizookie. Or, as my friend who is not especially familiar with BJ's called it, a Suzuki, which is very much not the same thing at all. Anyway, we step into BJ's in search of Pazookis and find out that there is a 45 minute wait. But we figure we're not in a rush, so we put our name in. The restaurant will text us when our table's ready. And I love when restaurants do that now. Just so smart. The way of the future. Anyway, since we have some time, we decide to stroll around the mall a bit. So we initiate strolling, and after a while we find ourselves walking into a store by the name of Bath and Body Works. This is sort of a heavenly haven of peace, populated by a variety of delightfully scented candles, lotions, and potions, what have you. Uh, really an extraordinary locale. And my friends and I find ourselves sniffing and wafting many unique, mostly pleasant odors. One of my friends and I find one called Dark Kiss. And I'm in kind of a weird mood. It's been a fun day, and I'm a little sleep deprived and a little under the weather, and very pizuki ready, so I say. I wonder what that means specifically. I mean, is it like a kiss in the dark, or is somebody wearing dark lipstick and kissing? I don't know. And suddenly a salesperson pops up behind us and shocks me. I'm like, sweet cinnamon pumpkins, which is actually the name of another one of their scents, interestingly. And she says, oh, were you talking about Dark Kiss? Yeah, have you smelled it? And I say, no, not yet. I was just investigating the name. And so she grabs a bottle of Dark Kiss and sprays it at me and asks, Shh, is it what you imagined? And I say, you know, not really what I expected, but in a good way. I like where it's taken me. As if that's a normal response to smelling something. And my friend just stares at me. And then I add, what more could you want? Except at that moment, my voice, crippled by sickness, cracks horribly. So I actually say, what more could you want? And now my friend's just laughing at me, blatantly, and I can't blame her. Then the salesperson continues to question us and try to find a good scent for us. She's doing her job well. Probably a raise for her is in order. And we're not really into it. I mean, we've embarrassed ourselves enough already. And by that I mean I've embarrassed ourselves enough already. So we know we should just probably get out of this magical place. So the salesperson asks, what brings you in today? A normal salesperson question. And I respond casually, oh, you know, we just wanted to get a sniff of fall. And my friend just loses it. She gives me the most confused look through laughter. And we both know we're not going to be able to move forward seriously with this conversation. But the salesperson, bless her, takes me totally seriously and says, okay, well, you should try Autumn Bliss then. Here you go. And we have to thank her and move away as quickly as possible to explain to our other friends the scene that just unfolded. And they know me, but even they can't believe the interaction that just occurred. I mean, what normal person, or even semi-normal person, who has a hint of sanity, would say any of the things I said. But I stand by my statements, and I'm proud of them. Finally, very calmly, my friends and I leave Bath and Body Works, only after asking the salespeople to kindly take a picture of us in front of a fake tree in the store, which they did graciously. And I think that's the lesson here. Sometimes ordinary, everyday conversations and activities can get boring, stale, routine. And if that happens, feel free to spice things up a bit, you know? Do things you wouldn't normally do. Talk in weird voices. Dance strangely. Take odd pictures. Smell things. Say things you wouldn't normally say, like a sniff of fall, etc. Because that's really living. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to go crack open about 30 jars of Dark Kiss body lotion because I am a sucker for moisturizers and that is a mystical aroma. I'll catch you later.